pivoting to Tom Brady. So it's funny, and, and you've always been, and rightfully so, I am too. You have not hid your, and you're not from Boston, and you're not a Patriots fan. You may be a, a Patriots historian, but not a Patriots fan. Uh, you're not from Boston, but you appreciate Tom Brady, as do I, as do most reasonable yeah. people. But I do want to ask you, hey, so clearly we know how you feel about Brady being successful apart from the Patriots. I did want to come to you as, as even though I lived in Boston and my wife's from the area and you know, started love, my career I there. This, I'm dis I love this feed item. I know where you're going. I'm I disconnected. love that you're having your feed. Totally disconnected it. from that community now. I got, like my in-laws yes. still live there. I got family there, but I don't know the pulse of that community the way you still do. Um, mm -hmm. Why on earth would Patriots fans be bitter toward Brady for potentially going back to another Super Bowl? Why? I don't know. Doesn't compute. I don't know. And I don't and I don't think all Patriots fans are. Mm -hmm. Some Yes. Well, yeah, what do I'd you think the split the, is? Uh 35%. Are 30 bitter? I, yeah, I, I still think that's too high. Okay. I mean, I think that's right. an accurate number, but I think that number is too high. This guy wanted to stay. He wanted to stay in Boston. He pretty much begged. Uh, ownership and Bill Belichick. Hey, let me stay. Give me hook, hook a brother up with that Drew Brees contract, and we're good. Give me two years, fifty million, we're good. And they didn't do it. Yeah. So he wanted to stay. They declined, and then they gave him no choice but to walk away. So, if, but but even if that had been the case, even if he decided to walk away after nineteen years, so what? So wait, just the so guy I'm got clear. You nine just, Super Bowls. But wait, just so I'm clear, you said he wanted to stay initially. Did I hear you he, right? So, so the summer, so before the uh, before the 2019 season. Okay. Summer before the before 2019 season, training camp yeah. says, "All right, contracts up. I need a new deal. I'd like to get a new deal." What he's looking for is two years, fifty million dollars. Yeah. What he did, what he got was really not a new deal. It, once it was reported as a new deal, but once people started looking to it, said, wait, wait a minute. Tom Brady's about to be a free agent after the 2019 season. What's going on here? He didn't get, that's not really a new contract. They messed around with some numbers. They gave him a little bit of a pay raise, but he's about to walk out the door. That's when he sells his house or puts his house on the market. And Brookline, sorry, we're not interested. You know, a little, little, little overpriced, like $38, $39 million. <laughs> um, Puts his house on the market, is no longer involved with his charity, all these other things. He wanted them to sign him up for the long term. They didn't want to do it. They wanted to go in a different direction. There's no reason to be bitter. I thought, There's no reason to be bitter what about, about what, what, what... But what about all the... He was sick of Belichick... And and oh, wanted to change and didn't feel appreciated. What about all that stuff? I thought I thought I it was, that, I thought I it was more mutual if anything. Too. Okay, all, so all so that stuff is true. So it's mutual. Okay. Yeah, because Belichick, look, Tom Brady, when you were covering the Patriots, I don't know if people know this, but people should. They should know the Michael Smith story. Michael Smith was covering the Patriots way back in the day, covering championship teams, covering Tom Brady, Bill Belichick on stuff. So when you were covering the Patriots, you remember Tom Brady being the first one in the offseason workouts, and he'd win some special parking spot because he was some workout warrior in the offseason. But that was the backwards hat wearing, baseball cap wearing, 24 year old Tom Brady. But when Tom Brady got to be 40, putting on a grown man's fedora, right. and got a wife and kids, I'm a grown man. Hey, hey man, I'm a grown man. Don't, don't, don't talk to me like that in the meeting. Don't talk to me like that. I know the offense. I'm gonna be prepared. You don't have to talk to me like you talk to everybody else. And. Bill Belichick would do, he would treat Brady just like anybody else. And I think some fans might say, well, that's right. Don't make any exceptions. Everybody's the same. Everybody's not the same. You can't treat Tom Brady like the 53rd guy on the roster. That's just absurd. And so I think he wanted some, some relief from the, from, the, from the Belichick show at times. And, and All it I would, wasn't happening. All I say is this. So it sounds like off the top, you know, what you're basically getting at is like if they're mad, they're mad at the wrong one because they could have had him, but the hoodie let him yeah. go. I would just say I find that 
and I've experienced this firsthand. You are bitter towards someone or some entity when you are not happy where you are. Mm. Because like, ooh, teach, this season, teach, Doc. this season, a seven and nine season is, is foreign to New England, right? As you know. And if anybody out there feels some kind of way about watching Brady flourish for another team, for another franchise, flourish for another franchise, then I think it's really because you're at home, because you are at home or you went home earlier than you're accustomed to, and worse than going home earlier than you're accustomed to, you have no hope for the future at the quarterback position. That's, that's, it's the simple, it's, so basically, like, you're watching your ex live his or her best life because you're at home single. Like, you, like you're alone, and y'all broke up. If you had moved on to somebody else, if, the, if Cam Newton had worked out the way we thought Cam Newton worked out when we were lauding the genius of Bill Belichick once again in the yeah, offseason, first couple weeks when everybody season, else yeah. passed on, 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 on uh, Cam Newton except for Belichick, so oh, here they go again. The Patriots getting a steal, catching everybody else slipping. If Cam Newton had, had thrown, how many touchdowns did he throw again this year, Michael? I forgot. Was it eight? Was it 10? Eight. eight. The team threw 10. There you go. It was the team threw eight. 10, he threw eight. Is that correct? Yeah. And so if okay, Tom give, Brady, give him another 11 rushing, it counts for 19 touchdowns still. Sure. But if Tom, Tom Brady, Brady had not thrown for, for twice as many touchdowns, exactly, and uh, uh, thrown for twice as many touchdowns or accounted for, what is that, five times as many passing touchdowns as, as the Patriots starting quarterback, then I think those Patriots fans who are bitter would feel differently. If I were a Patriots fan, if I were, I would look at Tom Brady and just be, and just be proud and just say, yeah, we taught right. him that. Like, right. that, like he learned that he learned that here. Even and not just that. I agree with you. Like he's always going to be a patriot. He's always going to be remembered for being a patriot. Nothing he does with Tampa would in any way cancel out or make people forget or take away what he did for 20 years in New England. So if I'm a New England fan, I'm trying to have it both ways. I'm trying to have it like, oh, our team at home, but my quarterback's going to the Super Bowl again. That's still my quarterback. Shout out to To. That's how I'd be looking at it. Mike, come on. You, everything you say is correct, but why should it have to come to that even? Let's say you're doing poorly. Let's say you don't win seven games. Let's say you win three without Tom Brady being there. Tom Brady gave you, as, as a sports fan, you can't get more than that from any team. I mean, there, there are NBA teams that don't have winning records over 19 years. There are NBA yeah. teams that don't do that. It's like year after year. And it's it, 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 and, and make the playoffs uh, X amount of years. And to always be in championship contention. You did that for a generation. And so when that comes to an end, how dare you be bitter? What are you bitter about? What are you bitter about? It's supposed to, is it, was it supposed to be 25? Was it supposed to be 30 <laughs> years? How long is that supposed to, to last? That. That's a crazy sense of and, entitlement, yeah. And, and here's the other thing. Boiled. All right, so, and I'm going through NFL history. I know you're an NFL historian. You know all these combinations. So whether it is Bradshaw and Null, whether it is Montana and Walsh, uh, any great quarterback, head coach quarterback combination, there's no equivalent to Brady Belichick that long. Yeah. Yeah, it's if you had gotten 10 years out of him, you say, thank you. 12, a dozen years. Wow, this is a bonus. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and not just 20 that, years. Michael, and not just years. that, you, you got it out of a six round pick. It was, you got it out of nowhere. You got it unexpectedly. Who, you know what and, I mean? It wasn't and Mike, like, also, yeah. great point, a guy who spoke their language too. Mm -hmm. So a six round pick who was a company man when it came to negotiating. Mm -hmm. I always used to say this about Tom Brady. I say, Tom, you're the only one in New England who can sit there and say, yeah, I'm holding out. I'm not getting enough money. And the fans, you know how fans it. usually hate when players do that. Yeah. The fans would side with him. He'd have a case. He's the only yeah. guy to be like, no. I'm not making enough. He could have yeah. made more yeah, money. Yeah. Hey, totally. Forbes, I think it was Forbes, Forbes Business a while ago did a study. And they conservatively estimated that he lo he left about uh, anywhere between eighty and hundred million dollars on the table Oof, in his career. Man. 
80 and 100 wow. million dollars. Wow. What? It, even when he was mad at Belichick, he's sitting there with his guy, Jim Gray. He's mad at Belichick. And, and Gray gives him a, you know, threw up, threw him an alley and said, uh, do you feel appreciated by Robert Kraft and Bill Belichick? He's mad. This is mad Tom Brady. You know what, you know what mad Tom Brady says? Hey, if kids are around, cover their ears. I'm going to tell you what Tom Brady said. Get ready. I plead the fifth. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's, that's still, Tom still, Brady still mad wouldn't. at the boss. Yeah. yeah. G Ray. Like if he, if he, it, he would never take the low, he would always take the high road, would never take the low road. And if, if he felt compelled to take the low road, he'd just exit, just get off altogether. No, listen, I mean, I I I'm picking the Packers. I love Aaron Rodgers. Part of me, a big part of me is pulling for Brady. He said no one ever. Pulling for Brady to get back to the Super Bowl in Tampa. I've never seen a home Super Bowl. Real quick note before we go to break, I was just gonna say it feels almost full circle. Uh, it feels almost full circle for Belichick. It's not apples to apples, it's not the same thing. Mm. But it's almost Bernie Kosar like in Cleveland. Almost, you know, very unpopular. And he's not, in, you know, for driving the local icon out. Again, I'm not comparing Kosar at that stage to Brady at this stage, but interesting how that kind of came full circle in his career. And speaking of um, consistency, talking about the more things change, um, I don't know if you saw Gronk, man. You know, Gronk, Gronk's so used to going to championship games till he forget what conference he's in. That's how much Brady is, is automatic. That's how, that's, that's how accustomed he got to it. Hey, thanks for watching Brother From Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.